friends this is Samir I welcome you to my channel gadget dreaming today we are going to review about LG window dual emulator AC so this AC is completely based on the new dual inverter technology which was previously used in the split air conditioner models from from LG uh, since last couple of years and they have launched this window air conditioners with the same kind of technology which is very energy efficient and uh, it always fits in our budget and it's uh, since it's energy efficient so you don't have to pay a lot uh, or large amount of bills on your energy bills so without wasting any time further let's start with the review of this product uh, the model number which I purchased was JWQ18WUXA1 I got it from a local dealer who gave me a uh, uh, good uh, price and I don't have to bargain with that dealer because uh, he has uh, agreed to exchange my old, air, old air conditioner the previous air conditioner which I used was Hitachi it was a uh, non-inverter AC uh, 1.5 ton and uh, I got this air conditioner for around 27,000 after minusing the exchange amount uh, which I got uh, in the exchange of the old AC I nearly got 2000 rupees discount so so this AC is of a capacity 1.5 ton and it has a 3 star energy uh, rating so we will discuss these things uh, in the rest of the video so the box has this label which shows the model number of the AC, the MRP, uh, the, the technology which is used on this AC and you'll get a remote control inside the pack and along with the product manual. Yeah, you can see the voltage frequency because these are manufactured in Thailand so uh, you will have to always make sure that it lies between 220 and 240 volts. Uh, which is a standard voltage in India uh, the frequency is 50 Hertz uh, you can also you can always see the capacity and uh, the overall weight is almost 42 kgs mm. the the dimensions are given on the box itself so you can see 600 mm in width uh, 630 mm is the depth and 380 mm is the height of this air conditioner so this will allow you to decide uh, and plan your window where you need to fit the AC yeah. and you'll have to make the frame of the uh, window exactly to match the dimensions as given on the product we will discuss this during our video so this AC is uh, a 3 star AC as you can see from this label and it has an electricity consumption of uh, 1213.3 units per year if you divide that by 12 uh, you will get a 101 units per month so quite energy efficient as compared to a non-inverter kind of an AC so this is the actual width of the air conditioner as mentioned on the box it is 60 centimeter that is 600 mm in width and it has a height of 15 inches so that's approximately uh, 380 mm So I got this AC fitted on my window in less than one hour and I have checked so many reviews on the internet and a lot of people have mentioned that it is too difficult uh, to install this air conditioner but I really do not agree with that. Uh, there might be a size constraints because uh, of my previous air conditioner which was of Hitachi uh, it was a bit larger as compared to this air conditioner but anyways you have the dimensions on the box so you can easily plan and uh, you can arrange your window size accordingly before you fit this AC uh, so this is how the AC looks after it is fitted uh, 
when I viewed this AC for the first time it looked like a robot from Star Trek <laughs> so it's a nice decent uh, piece of technology and it's completely white let's have a close look at the control panel of the air conditioner it's conveniently placed on the right side and you can see it has a large vent on the center uh, this control panel has all the required buttons which are available on your remote control so you don't have to worry if even if you lose your remote control you can still easily operate this air conditioner it's quite easy I will explain this uh, during our video uh, so this is how it looks looks pretty decent so it is marked with a dual inverter and it has a 10 year warranty on the compressor and pretty much decent looks very nice the filter is easily accessible you just have to open the front door of this AC and you can pull out the filter it completely comes off and you can easily clean this off using water and uh, it's pretty much easily accessible you can put it back inside close the door and it's ready okay so let's have a look at the remote control which is provided along with this AC it's a very small uh, remote control and it easily fits on your palm and it works on two AAA batteries uh, and uh, it's very light and compact very decent uh, let's switch on our AC now so once you switch it on you'll hear a nice pleasant sound rather than a beep I would say uh, there are standard buttons available on this on this remote uh, by just increasing the temperature you just have to click on the up arrow you can decrease it by clicking the down arrow and uh, Th various modes are available. I have currently set on energy saving mode, but I would demonstrate the cool mode. Just click on this button and it will switch the cool mode. The cool mode is something which keeps the fan speed constant as per your set speed and it will immediately cool your room. Uh, so there are three fan speeds available starting with F1, which is the minimum and F3 is the maximum speed I would say uh, keep it on F1 because uh, the the airflow which uh, is flowing through this this vent is extremely powerful and it easily cools off your room below 200 square f square square foot and uh, so let me reduce the speed it's I've set it to F1 now it's more than enough for me uh, now this is the energy saving mode which I normally keep on this mode because it controls the fan speed and the compressor and it uh, always uh, decreases or increases both the compressor and the fan speed as for the room conditions and the room temperature uh, this is the sleep mode you can change the sleep mode uh, to your desired number of hours it w also works like a timer because if you set the number of uh, hours on the sleep mode if you keep it off if it keep it for six hours uh, it will switch off after six hours it works like a timer but the difference between a timer and the sleep mode is uh, the sleep mode is very uh, convenient and it reduces the fan speeds to a minimum speed you can barely hear any uh, noise from the air flown through the vents and you can have a pleasant sleep the basic uh, reason for a sleep mode is uh, it uh, increases the temperature gradually up to two degrees when you're asleep and it will keep on monitoring this uh, temperature so that you get a pleasant sleep so i've kept it on this mode and i would suggest energy mode plus sleep would really be a nice energy saving mode because the air conditioner does not use much power and believe me guys uh, don't uh, go on the noise which is 
audible on this phone because the the air which is flowing through this air conditioner is barely audible if you put on your energy saving and the sleep modes so the timer function is a plain and simple uh, feature which turns off your AC at a number of hours specified so so this is the demonstration of this remote control there is an additional feature where you can turn off the display by just clicking uh, pressed uh, you have to just press that mode button for three seconds and it will turn off the illumination of the display control panel you can turn it on by clicking any button so this is it this is the remote control functions thank you